Hello, and thank you for joining us to share with us the blessings of this Easter Monday Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of God our Father, the Son, and the Spirit be with each of you. And with your spirit. And as always, we take a few quiet seconds, collect our thoughts, consider our relationships with each other and with the Lord before we go further. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for each of us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. The glory. glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you will honor the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who give constant increase to your church by new offspring, grant that we, your servants, may hold fast in, their, in our lives to the sacrament we have received in faith through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice and proclaimed, You who are Jews, indeed all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you, and listen to my words. You who are children of Israel, hear these words. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commended to you by God, with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs, which God worked through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This man, delivered up by the set plan and foreknowledge of God, you killed, using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death, because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Therefore my heart has been glad, and my tongue is exalted. My flesh, too, will dwell in hope, because you will not abandon my soul to the nether world. Nor will you suffer your Holy One to seek corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with the joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David that he died and was buried, and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn an oath to him, that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the netherworld, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised this Jesus, of this we are all witnesses. Exalted at the right hand of God, he poured forth a promise of the Holy Spirit that he received from the Father, as you both see, and hear the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song. Keep me safe, O oh God, you are my hope. Keep, Keep me, me safe, O oh God, God, you are my hope. hope. Keep me, O oh God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my, my Lord, 
My Lord are you, O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence. Because you will not abandon my soul to the nether world, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce the news to his disciples. Behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go, tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests all that had happened. The chief priests assembled with the elders and took counsel. Then they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You are to say, His disciples came by night, stole him while we were asleep. And if this gets to the ears of the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. The soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed, and this story has circulated among the Jews to the present day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Ray Brown was a scripture scholar. He wrote many volumes, excellent, but his monumental works were two. One was titled, The Birth of the Messiah, the other, The Death of the Messiah. After you completed the second work, people said, now, are you going to do a third work, to make this a trilogy, and title it, The Resurrection of the Messiah? And Brown said, no, I don't intend to do that, for a couple of reasons. First, I have already written some commentaries, not as complete and exhaustive as the other ones, about the resurrection. And secondly, this is something I hope to experience face to face, the resurrection of the Lord. And he did experience it face to face in 1998 when he died, died of a heart attack at age 70. And he entered into that, that faith that he's talking about. But a couple of years before his death, he was giving a lecture, a public lecture in a Presbyterian church in New Jersey. And one of the men was quoted, one of the attendees, a man was quoted by a reporter after the uh, lecture. He told the reporter that he had come a thirsty for an affirmation of his faith and that he had received that as he drank in every word that Brown had given in the course of his, his lecture. The woman came to the empty tomb. They were more than thirsty. They were afraid. What was going on here? How could they put all the pieces together? That fear was quickly dissipated as they, they drank in the words of Jesus. Do not be afraid. Go, tell my brothers I am going before them to, to Galilee. One of those brothers, Peter, about 50 days later, spoke of his faith in the resurrection of Jesus, saying that God has raised up this Jesus. Of this we are all witnesses. We can testify to it ourselves. On the other hand, the guards were fearful. They had faulted in their duty. And the officials told them not to worry. We'll cover for you. When people ask you, simply tell them that the, the disciples came when you were asleep, stole the body away. Of course, the, this fear they had led to a stupidity of how can, a, how can you witness this something when you're sound asleep. We don't have the faith of Ray Brown, or I should say, I could back up on that. 
don't have the wisdom, the, the scholarship of Ray Brown, but hopefully we have something of his faith, his confidence, that we will one day ourselves see the Lord face to face, a confirmation of our faith in the resurrection. In the meantime, that expectation can be enhanced and bolstered and fostered by the way we live, and we express that face-to-face -face confidence by living now in ways that show we believe that person who spoke to us, the Lord Jesus, will wait to live. And given the situation now of the pandemic sweeping across the world, we all of us have opportunity to express that, to live that in ways that are probably a bit more challenging they are and, and, and prevalent and numerous than they are in daily livings. Some years ago, a, a man spoke to me, a sports fan, he said, you know, the best uh, offense is, I'm sorry, the best defense is a good offense, and how true he is. And, and by that token, Brown was playing a good offense, except he was kind of like the water boy, offering to the team words of encouragement, something that like that gentleman could slake their thirst with in their faith and deepen it in that way. It seems like a pretty menial job to be a water boy or a water girl for that matter, and yet as we consider what we're offering, it is an important job. We're offering by our witnesses, as Peter said, a belief in the resurrection, and not only by our words, but by our actions, by our, our whole ways of living. It, it's going to be very powerful and very verifying when we, we do that. And so, as Jesus told the Samaritan woman, that he was like a, a water welling up to eternal life, Again, that, that, even the Lord himself was kind of a water boy, if you will, not to demean what he's doing, but to put it in an exemplification that uh, we have the same opportunities to do that as Brown did, to slake the thirst, of, the thirst of those who might be wavering in their faith or even questioning or even needing affirmation and strengthening. Um, the, the Lord and Brown did that for us, no reason we cannot. The water we offer is the, is the ultimate nourishment a nourishment of an affirmation and a validation of resurrected, of eternal life the Lord wishes each of us to one day have in full. Confident of the Lord's attentiveness to us, and this time especially, we offer our prayer. Gratitude for the people of faith who have witnessed to us, encouraged us to take seriously the words of the Scripture. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. This Easter, different as it is from others, might be a day of grace and guidance and hope for us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people in leadership positions who are making critical decisions, it will affect the lives of all of us. They be guided, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our sick and those who find themselves especially, uh, especially, which they say, threatened by this terrible contagion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Those who have died have gone before us in faith, especially today for George Zapronio, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Mighty God, it is our privilege to be and offer our prayers to you. May these prayers bring benefits to all for whom we pray and deepen the faith of them and us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands become for us a spiritual food. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands become for us the, 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 our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray the offerings of your peoples that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but especially on this day to do so, and to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he destroyed our death, by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with Easter joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, unto you come again. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, <clears throat> pardon me, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of your Son, the blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Salvatore our Bishop, clergy and laity everywhere in the world. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph the Apostles, Blessed Joseph her spouse, and all the Apostles, with the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with, with him, him and in him, O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, Spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, the glory, the glory are yours, yours now, now and, and forever. forever. The Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us pray on this day especially that peace be part of our lives, and that being part of our lives, we may share it and enrich it with others. O Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world, have mercy on us. O Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. O Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not with you should enter under my roof, but only say the word of my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord. Make those you have set on the way to eternal salvation worthy of your gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.